We're following some breaking news from overnight on the special session at the Capitol. And the breaking news is it's still going. Lawmakers stayed up all night as they remained split on this controversial police reform bill. You can see the spirited debate still continuing there live at the Capitol. Every time we've checked in, it's been a different representative there speaking. And that speaking continues as they continue to debate. Three bills passed through the House, though, but this fourth bill is still in the works. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne is live just outside the House chamber. And Roger, tell us what's happening right now. Eric, I think these lawmakers are going to need a coffee refill because, as you mentioned, this debate over a controversial police reform bill is still raging right now. Now, the current version of the bill has seen a compromise that's been offered in the key issue of qualified immunity, but they're still debating right now whether or not that compromise will be accepted. We'll have more on that in just a moment, but first and foremost, we all know that this debate swirling around possible police reform has been going on for weeks. It's really gripped the nation and state really ever since the death of George Floyd. Protesters have demanded police reform, but critics argue certain changes could actually make the public less safe. Now, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle this morning say the key issue is that legal term, qualified immunity. And essentially it means that right now the actions of police are protected from lawsuits while they're on the job. Now, critics say it shields them from consequences when they mess up. But supporters say qualified immunity is important because officers have a difficult, dangerous job. And if you eliminate qualified immunity, they will not be able to act decisively while serving the public. And fewer people will want to become cops in the future. Now, the current... I believe police need to be held accountable. I believe that there has to be something done to this immunity statute for our communities to feel safe, to have trust, and to make our communities better. Now, as we mentioned, lawmakers have already passed three bills through the House this morning. They include the expansion of telehealth opportunities, capping insulin expenses, and expanding absentee ballots for the election in November. Now, all of those bills will now go to the state Senate. This controversial police reform bill could do the same thing if it passes through the House. We're going to have to wait and see if that happens. Reporting live outside or inside the state capitol, I'm Roger Susanen, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.